Hello garden gals and guys. I'm going to show you how easy it is to start your own garden with the nourish mat. The nourish mat came with all the instructions that you need to get started. The nourish mat seed ball planting guide, the quick setup and instructions, and what the seed ball, balls are all about. So what I've done is I've cleared out the section of my garden where the nourish mat is going to be. I'm going to take some muriate of potash because my soil test showed that I needed muriate of potash to um, replenish some of the nutrients in my garden. So I'm just going to take a little bit now and throw it down. And just kind of work it in. Step one is done. Second step, take your nourish mat and put it down where you've cleared the weeds and added any nutrients that your soil may need. Once you lay it down, you're going to take the staples that came with the mat and put them in the blue circles that are in the four corners of the mat, as well as in the middle. Another important step here is to make sure that the ground is level before you put the mat down. And I'll finish this and then go on to step three. Next, we're gonna plant the seed balls. The seed balls come in this wonderful little carton that's wrapped, that the seed mat is wrapped around. There's even instructions on the lid on how to do it. So we're going to take the seed balls that are marked for the appropriate ones and push them in until the top half of the seed ball is sticking out. Now, you're not going to plant everything depending on when you plant. So I'm just going to plant the things that have March and April plant dates. So that for me would be the carrots, the cilantro, the lettuce, the onions, the spinach, the basil, the arugula, the nasturtium, the radish, the chives, the parsley, the kale, and the rainbow chard. I'm going to start with the carrots. This is a seed ball. It's made of worm compost and clay. Just push it into the hole marked for carrots. One seed ball per hole. Until the entire square is filled. And you keep going on in like manner until each square is filled and then I'll continue to go on and plant all the plants. That's step three. Then it's water for 20 minutes every day to keep the seed balls moist and watch your garden grow. Until next time, garden gals and guys, happy gardening.